just practicing my poses. Get ready to strike a pose because today we're talking about gesture. It's time for art. <laughs> Hello friends. Welcome back to virtual art with me, Miss Camises. So as I give you a sneak peek in the preview, today we're talking about gestures. A gesture drawing is when you're capturing a movement. When you take a picture, you're capturing an action in just one still. So you're, ca you're catching a part of a full movement. So how do artists capture people in action? Today I'm going to show you a trick on how to do it. Let's try it out. So how do we draw a body in motion? How do we even begin? Well, it's gonna be kind of surprising, but I'm gonna say we start with the skeleton and we move to the body. We start from the skeleton and we move to the... Your skeleton is what gives you the shape and the frame for everything that your body does. If you didn't have a skeleton, you would just be a big bowl of jello with eyes and nose and... I don't think that'd be very cute. No. So yeah, we're really happy that we have skeletons. And so we have to make sure that we include it in our gesture drawing. We're actually going to be starting with something that looks a little familiar, something that I usually tell you, you can do better than, but believe it or not, it's gonna help us a lot. Let's try. Okay, friends, so for this, it's really helpful to have something or someone to draw from. So I just went online and I looked up an image of Misty Copeland. Misty Copeland is an amazing, phenomenal ballerina. Um, drawing dancers is actually a really great way to practice this because they can just do so many phenomenal things. So we're actually going to start from the top up. So I'm gonna start with the shape of the head. I'm gonna be drawing in markers so that you can see clearly. Easy peasy. You would do this in pencil. Now I'm gonna to start to think about the structure that her bones actually have. So we actually have a very long bone that goes from your neck all the way down and that's called your spine. So I'm gonna look and use my pen as a way to measure. And I'm gonna see, hmm, the spine probably goes from about here. I can even use my fingers to measure here with a person. You can do this as well. Okay. And from here, I start to see what the rest of her bones are doing. I from here, I go from skeleton to body. So now, once you have your skeleton, you can start to draw around. what you already have. Her hands would actually go off of this paper. pencil, I would now erase the skeleton. You don't need that anymore. Once you have that, that's when you can start thinking about clothing. What is the clothing doing? Once you know how to draw 
around the body in different gestures, you might want to use your imagination and create a drawing of a person in action using only your mind. Thinking about what your body does when it's in that particular pose. And you might show me, when is the time that you stretch? I know that I stretch every day in my yoga practice. Namaste. But when is the time that you stretch and how might you show it in a drawing? All right, friends, that's it for today. Until next time, hasta de luego. Bye, friends. Remember to stay creative, like, share. I want to see what you're doing. Bye.